please check what you are going to training objectives on this task. A competitor can learn how to use personal protective equipment and tools for welding. Task To understand the type of personal protective equipment and welding tools. Objective Find out how to use main welding tools and understand how to maintain them well. Goals To be able to understand what kind of tools used for welding. To be able to understand how to use equipment and tools. To be able to understand how to maintain the welding tools correctly. Main focus of the task. A competitor should know all kinds of personal protective equipment for welding and how to put them on yourself. A competitor should be able to understand the principle of how to use welding tools. A competitor should be able to well aware of how to use the welding tools properly. Please check the preparations and tools for this training. Precautions 1. Do not force too much strength on the welding tools to prevent damage to the tool. 2. Follow the manufacturer's manual. 3. Store and maintain them by the maintenance method for each tools. Please check what you are going to perform on this task. Type of personal protective equipment and how to put on. Safety shoes. There are two types of safety shoes, a long neck and a short neck. A long neck safety shoes are for welding. Safety shoes with a steel toe can stand up to 3 ton weight to the dropped object. Safety shoes with a steel plate on the sole can protect the foot from sharp stuff. Do not allow the pants legs to be outside of the safety shoes. And hold it tight with ankle rubber bands not to be flapping outside. Leather pants. Welder wears leather pants covering the ankle to shield them from burns resulting from welding sparks. Leather pants is not only protecting welders from sparks, but also preventing grinding particles catching in clothes. Pants legs should be worn over the outside of the boots. Welding spats. Welding spats is worn to protect safety shoes and the worker's ankle. To prevent being burned off the cotton shoelaces and block the spark bouncing up after hitting the ground. Leather jacket. Leather jacket is worn to shield welder from welding sparks. It is divided into two types as one for the summer and the other for the winter. But during summer welders may wear only leather sleeve instead of wearing a leather jacket. Button up the jacket to prevent molten metal from catching in the clothes. Earplugs Earplugs are worn to protect workers' ears from the noise. It's necessary to replace it often since it is getting dirt easily while working. It made moldable rubber or form. Rolled up earplug before inserting into the ear, then it fits well when it is expanding. Welding hood cap. Welding hood cap is worn to absorb sweat and prevent molten metal and sparks from catching in the clothes. It should be made of cotton as this material has a higher resistance to burning than synthetic material. Leather gloves. Gloves should be worn to protect the hands from heat 
molten metal, and spatters generated when welding. It's important to use fit gloves depending on the hand size. Mask. It protects the workers from hazardous substances occurring from the site. Fumes are generated during welding. Fumes are formed when a metal is heated above its boiling point and its vapors condense into very fine particles. Be careful welding fumes include many harmful materials. If these go into your lungs, this will cause heavy metal poisoning, choking, etc. Wearing helmet. It protects your face from the harmful ray during welding. Clear glass and colored lenses can be put inside of the helmet. Use different shade of colored lenses depending on the welding method. The general sunglasses have 1.5 to 2 shade and welding colored lenses are 9 to 10 shade. Insert it with three layer as the clear glass in contact with the outside first, then the colored lenses. And finally, put the clear glass inside again. When wearing the helmet, the welder must adjust the size to fit his head. Safety glasses. It protects eyes from chemicals, metals, and dust during grinding and welding. Welding tool. File. Use it to remove the burr created while mechanical or laser machining. It is classified by the roughness of the file. A rough file is mainly used for welding. Chipping hammer. One side is pointed shape and the other side is sharp like a chisel. Use it to remove slag and spatter on the welding beads. Wire brush. Use it to remove contaminants, oxide layers, Shop primer coating for steel plates on the base material. Use stainless brush to remove oxide layers for stainless steel or stainless material. Steel ruler. Use it to measure the size and mark the welding guideline. Marking needle. This is a tool for drawing lines on the metal surface. Use a straight ruler to draw the line precisely because the drawn line is visible during the welding process. Magnetic base. It is a semi-permanent magnet that uses the power of magnet, not electricity, and can turn the magnetic force on, off by rotating the lever. It helps to fix the steel plates or align between base materials. Chisel. Use it to remove the spatters on the welding surface after welding. Use ball peen hammer to remove the splatters by hitting the chisel from the upside. It should be done with a single hitting. G clamp. It is a fixing tool to keep alignment for test plates and fix large structures. Because it was in the form of the letter G, named G clamp. Nipper. Used for cutting the welding wire, stainless wire, or stainless steel wire. Plier. Hold base materials to move them when it's still hot after welding. Ammeter. Most welding machines are equipped with digital indicators showing current and voltage. But an ammeter is used to verify indicated outputs are accurate.
measuring tools, vernier calipers. It is a tool that enables dimension measurement the outside, inside, step, and depth. In addition to the standard type, there are various types according to the shape or characteristics of the workpiece such as thin groove, hole pitch, and pipe thickness, and so on. Square gauge. It is used to align the horizontal and vertical level when building the structure. Welding gauge. It is a tool enables dimension measurement of bead reinforcement and fillet leg length size. Gap gauge. It is a tool to measure a bead height between two surfaces. The difference between the maximum and minimum bead height, size of under bead and undercut can be measured. Welding torch. Torch for GTAW welding. The front part consists of tungsten electrode, gas nozzle, coolant jacket, collet, cap. The rear part consists of a handle, power cable connected to the torch, coolant tube, and shielding gas hose. Tungsten electrode can be classified to two types by raw materials, such as pure tungsten electrode and the one with thorium. Pure tungsten electrode color with green and are used for stainless steel welding. Tungsten electrode with thorium color with red or gold and are used for welding using DC power. Gas nozzle. It is classified to two types, ceramic and glass one. Ceramic nozzle is mostly used at the site because glass nozzle is not only fragile but also very expensive. However, glass nozzle is mostly used for the precise welding. The adequate nozzle size is about four to six times the diameter of the tungsten electrode size. Be well aware that if the cup size is way too small, it may so easy to get overheated that is breakable and cause too much shielding gas consumption. Shielding gas, argon gas, or nitrogen gas, which is an inert gas, is used mainly. The purity of shielding gas is important. Decide the gas flow range in the range of 5 to 10 liters per minute to block the humidity and air inclusion. Gas lens. It is for injecting shielding gas into the welding area provide a constant gas flow around the electrode. Torch head upper cap. Two types, long and short cap. The long cap is used generally because the length of electrode is about 150 millimeters. 150 millimeter length electrode doesn't fit with a short cap. The electrode should be cut in this case. But when the space is confined, a short cap is used. GTAW torch assembly. Fix the gas lens to the head first. Insert the collet chuck to hold the electrode. Put the collet chuck inside and then the cap. Fix the gas nozzle to the gas lens. Push the electrode necessary for work inside and tighten the cap to fix it so that it does not move. When pushing the electrode into the torch, it's important to align the center. The bead profile will be different depending on the shape of electrode. If DCEN is used, a pointed end tip electrode is used, but for AC or DCEP, a hemispherical tip electrode is used. How to replace the wire. There are two types of welding wires, round bar and flux cord wire. And the wire replacement must be done during the task. First, 
Remove the torch nozzle and dismantle the tip inside of it. Dismantle the insulator and then the gas diffuser. Dismantle the level of the wire feeder and then the wire. A nipper can be used for cutting the wire. Dismantle the remaining wire inside of the torch. Replace the wire spool at feeder. Insert the sharp part of the wire into the wire feeder. After inserting, raise the level of the step-down switch valve to fix it. Press the inching button on the wire feeder. Inching provides the wire only without the electricity. If feeding the wire by pressing the torch switch without the inching function, it can cause the incident due to electricity. Assembly procedure is in reverse order of the disassembly. Put the gas diffuser for the first time. Then, tighten the insulator. The insulator blocks the electricity reaching to the nozzle. Tighten the tip. The tips hold the wire to let it move straight forward evenly. Finally, tighten the nozzle. Power tool. Grinder. A grinder is a tool that smoothly grinds the surface with a disc-shaped blade or circular saw that rotates at high speed. It is used by fastening a grinding blade used to scratch the surface of an object to remove the contaminant and make it smooth. A cutting blade used for simple cutting and a cup brush used for scratching or removing the contaminants from the surface. In welding work, it is used for beveling, removing the contaminant, and grinding off the excessive beads. In general, a grinder has the object that rotates at high speeds, so if the blade is broken during work, serious injuries may occur due to the bouncing blade. If gloves, collars, etc. are caught in the rotating object, it may lead to a major accident. Portable Electro Dryer It keeps the SMAW electro dried. The electrode with a low hydrogen type containing 4,316 iron is used in SMAW welding. The amount of hydrogen in the welded material is one-tenth of that of other welding rods, and the arc is slightly unstable. Porosity is easily generated at the beginning of welding, but it has the best crack resistance and is mainly used for critical steel. The coating material at the welding rod is covered on the outside of the wire, having the same or similar properties as the base material. The covering material is composed of limestone or floor spar and has high hygroscopicity. If there is high moisture in the cladding, the weld might be defective, so, it must be dried at 300 to 350 degrees Celsius for one to two hours before use. Store welding electrode in the portable welding rod dryer to keep it dry during welding. Check again the key points of the task we've worked on in this training.
So far, we have learned how to use the personal protective equipment and hand tools required for welding. Thank you for your hard work.